Welcome Floss Tubers, I'm Dottie, Stitch and Scotty, and this is Floss Tube number 28, all about cross stitch. And today is May the 8th, Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to everyone that's a mother. And if you're not a mother, happy Unmother's Day. <laughs> but anyway, um, I would just like to welcome you today and thank you for subscribing and liking the video and I like I appreciate all those folks that just keep coming back over and over again to share my stitching and with me and all the sweet comments I got this week and all the birthday wishes thank you so much I don't feel older which is good that's a real good thing and um you know I've had some questions about me you know like what I do and things like that and how long I've been stitching so I thought I'd tell you about that. I live in the South, as you could tell by my accent. I'm not originally from South Carolina. <clears throat> I'm originally from North Carolina, Western North Carolina, in the mountains. And I was born in Virginia. But I would like to, uh, I like to, um, down here when I got transferred with my job, and which I no longer do, but that's okay. And uh, But I have two other jobs that I do. And um, I enjoy them. Uh, I teach piano and I work at the local hospital. Um, <clears throat> I also uh, enjoy cross stitching a lot. I used to belong to the Embroiders Guild of America because when I first moved down here, I had been to like our home extension club in um, Western North Carolina and we did all kinds of fun projects. And when I moved down here, I just could not find anything. So finally, I found the Embroiders Guild of America or EGA and I learned how to um, needlepoint better, um, cross stitch better, and embroider better. Because I've embroidered since I was in high school, though. And I uh, just learned all kind of needlepoint specialty stitches. And um, I knit very little, crochet very little, make baskets, or at least I used to. I don't anymore. I've even made a longer burger basket when I went to the longer burger place. It was fun. And let's see, what else do I do? Oh, I tried beading, but it gives me a headache. Uh, it's very annoying. I made several things, you know, pe peyote, uh, odd count peyote bags, amulet bags, and earrings, and uh, bracelets, necklaces, you know. And then uh, you can only wear so much jewelry. So I was like, mm, I think I'll just cross stitch. And I also quilt some. So I'm not the be all and end all of everything. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So there you go. And I do punch needle very little. When I took the punch needle class, I broke the punch needle. Yeah. So I'm going to try again. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, I've been stitching since I was um, a little girl. I learned how to quilt with my grandmother and so, And um, I, can, I used to make my own clothes, um, but I'm not you know, a professional by any means, but I don't make my own clothes now. It takes too much time away from stitching and quilting. And those are my two favorite things to do now is our stitching and quilting. And of course, finishing my cross stitch projects, which is not one of my favorites because it's much more fun stitching it. So I guess I'm what the sunshine stitchers call a process stitcher. Um, <clears throat> and I also used to belong to the American Needlepoint Guild or A&G. And I enjoyed that. Um, went to several of their uh, classes and seminars and things, and that was fun. So anyway, that's, you know, I've got four children, three grandchildren, and a husband, of course. And, um, you know, I'm I'm just a happy girl. So um, as long as I get to cross-stitch, I'm, I'm happy. So enough about me. Anyway, um, oh, and I have two Scotties, which is why... My name is Stitching Scotty, and I used to show Scotties um, in the show ring. Um, not very famous, but just did it for fun, and my dogs enjoyed it. And we've got a few things, you know, that they won, but um, these two are not show dogs. Uh, I got them from the Scottish Terrier Rescue of the Southeast, and uh, when I decided not to show dogs anymore. So I thought that would be nice to give them a forever home. So they've really made my made me happy and they make appearances every now and then when they're good boys okay well that's enough about me so let's talk about stitching 
Okay, first of all, I thought I would show you some new patterns and uh, you'll just have to bear with me because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Of course, uh, you know, we've been doing the Country Cottage Needleworks uh, sampler of the month and July is out now. Looky there. Isn't that pretty? I just love that with the two Uncle Sam's at the top and the two at the bottom. I just thought that was just really, really cute. And then we also have um, Twin Peaks. I can't talk today. Twin Peak Primitives has put out a Betsy Ross sampler cross stitch pattern. And if you go to... Um, Twin Peak Primitives, um, you'll see that. And uh, Annabella's uh, cross-stitch shop on Etsy has it on sale. I think it's 10% off. But I thought that was really, really pretty. And it says, our hearts aching, our prayers praying, our flag waving, never forget. And it's got the alphabet, and you put the year up there. Um, Not the year, but the numbers, one through uh, 10. All right, then <clears throat> also we have, now I really like her patterns. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that they're computer generated right now. So Shannon Christine designs July 4th cross stitch pattern, and this is patriotic. And isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine what that would look like finished on a piece of fabric? So that's really, really pretty with all the fireworks and the red truck, of course. It's all about the trucks these days. Then, <clears throat> the next one is God Bless America by Erica Michaels. Now, I'm assuming that this one is, oh yes, this one's new because it's a pre-order. Um, it says, God Bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean swap white with foam and then it says home sweet home and she's got two ways that you can finish it you can do the entire chart and make a photo or you can do part of it and make a box a treasure box or a stitch box or you can make just a smaller photo uh, picture and this chart is on pre-order god bless america and it's just very very pretty now the next thing we have, we're getting ready for the summer 2021 punch needle and primitive stitcher to come out, of course. And where's the next thing? The next thing is from Little Stitch Girl. And this is called I'm Walking on Sunshine. And this is by Jordan Nicole. Oh, darn. I cannot believe that. Okay. Just give me a second. Technology and I are having a day today. This tablet is not the greatest. Okay, here we go. Simply Say in June. There you go. By Little Stitch Girl. Isn't that cute? Walking on sunshine. And it's it's like a little towel, but you don't necessarily have to put it on a tea towel. You could, um, you know, make it be a photo or something like that. Okay, the next thing is <clears throat> Needlework in a Jar. And this is Rami's Creations. And I've never stitched any of their stuff, but it says United We Stitch. And it says Celebration of Needlework. But I thought that was kind of cute. And it's in a jar. Really, really cute. I've never seen that. So I'm assuming that's also new. Yeah, it says New Cross Stitch. All right, then next we have, and this one I have seen before, but I thought I would show it because I like to camp. And this is by Flamingo Toes. I think I saw this on Fat Quarter Shop, and it's Happy Camper. Now, my camper doesn't look anything like that, but I just thought that was just really cute. And it says Happy Camper stitched on there. Then... <clears throat> The next thing is by Imaginating, and it's called America the Beautiful. And it's got, um, it's got the words to America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for eight amber waves of grain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. 
from sea to shining sea. Isn't that beautiful? And that's by imaginating. Then another one I saw that um, I thought was really, really pretty that now, oh, here it is. It's called Oh My Stars by Calico Confectionery. And this is just on, it's like on pillow ticking and it's just the cutest, cutest cross stitch pattern. Look at that. It says USA 1776. That's going to have to go in my cart. I can just see it now. And I think this one's a PDF. I may be wrong, but I do think it's a PDF. All right. And then the next one is Sweet Liberty by uh, Teresa Cogut. And this one is a punch needle. Sweet Land, excuse me. Uh, but I had to show it just because it is wonderful. And it's very patriotic. Look at that. Very, very pretty for those of you that like punch needle. I guess I'm a punch needle dropout. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I love my stuff. But anyway, I thought I would show you a few things. Um, you know, there's a lot more patterns out. Um, just loads and loads of patterns. And I'm going to have to look up another one because I had this little bookmark thing and I was going to show you and I cannot find it. But hopefully I've buried it somewhere as usual. But uh, I'm just going to see if I can pull it up um, later. And I'll show you the freebie pattern of the month after a while. So um, and we'll look that up. Now, let's talk about past FFOs. Now, an FFO, to me, is a finely finished object. Some people call it a fully finished object. But mine, they stay around a while. So they become finely finished. Yes. So these um, are oldies but goodies. Some of these are not available from Pine Mountain. These are Pine Mountain and Lizzie Kate because, you know, that used to be all I used to do. And I have plenty more that are not Lizzie Kate and Pine Mountain, but some of them are not finished. You know, FFO'd, I mean. Now, the first one is called All Tied Up. And this is the May pillow with the crooked bow. Good grief. Ugh. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. And it's got the little uh, bee scap and the flowers for May. And I stitched that on 10 count Chula with DMC. And the bow and the fabric and the pillow form, the pillow was already made. And you just uh, got a pillow form and put it in there and tied it up. Easy peasy finish. This is my kind of finish, let me tell you. But um, this was fun to stitch. And it was easy to take along because everything was right there. So I enjoyed stitching that. <clears throat> the next thing, oops. The next thing is called Welcome Spring. And this was a mini pillow. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this one's still available from Pine Mountain. And I love the little birdhouse um, button. It's like a ceramic type button. And all you had to do was stitch Welcome Spring, put a little grass, and a little bitty bird right there. You stitched a little bird. And you just tuck it in the little mini pillow form that was already made. Easy peasy. All right. And the last uh, piece I had was Lizzie K. And this was a... Something about... Block with Charm, I think is what it's called. And this was the block for May. <clears throat> and it's got the carrot growing in the ground in the garden, the bird on the uh, picket fence, and the watering can to water the May flowers. But it's full of flowers. And this one's on 28 Cashel. Um, no, not 28 Cashel. It's on 28 count... Um, Cafe Mocha, French Cafe Mocha, I think, linen. And it's two strands over two. And I used Week Style Works and Gentle Arts Threads and some DMC for what I didn't have back then. And I framed it myself. I just popped this in and out. Every month I've got one because you're seeing every month. So, 
<clears throat> that's my past FFOs and faint I have an FFO. Are you going to believe it? This one uh, is another one that I pop in and out. This is also a Lizzie Kate, but it's it was part of my mania last year, and I finally finished that. And this is Liberty, and this was um, I don't remember the name of the pattern or anything, but it had little beads for the centers of the flowers, and uh, yeah, and you just stitched it all up, and it was a very quick stitch. Seems like the fabric came with it, if I remember correct. It was the fabric, the beads, and the pattern. And it was a cute little kit. And I just pop it in and out of this frame. I think I had a Thanksgiving in it, and last time you saw it, it had luck in it. So that's going to go up for May. And that's all, yeah, sorry. The fabric is 28 count uh, raw linen. And I used two threads over two, and I used most all DMC fabric, uh, DMC flosses. I'm trying to remember to get better about that. Okay, now, <clears throat> I had a finish this week. Thank goodness, because I was getting kind of tired of looking at this one, too. It should have been finished in March, so y'all know what I'm talking about. This is my monthly Orny Sal. And this was the... Uh, Christmas, and that is, it says 1995. This is a page from an old magazine, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, May, June, 1995. It's an oldie, but a goodie. But I just love the little heart shape, and when I saw that, I said, oh, that's going to be so cute. Now, I did not get it FFO'd, because this video would have been quite late this evening, and I would have been quite cranky. Um, It's got to be finished into a heart shape. Oh, yay! But I'm sure that I'll do just fine with that <clears throat> eventually. But, you know, these things do take time. But I did get it done, and there was a lot more stitches in this piece than I thought. This is on Nordic Blue, and I put Christmas 2021. Nobody will be the wiser. They'll think this is just the newest thing ever. Um, every time I would think I was finished, I was like, oh, there's lights on the tree. I've got to do French knots on the tree. Oh, there's Sperna stitched stars up in the sky, or snowflakes up in the sky, and they've got French knots on the end of them. You know, it was just one more thing to think of. And then, oh my goodness, there's snowflakes on the snow. So I had to do those, and it just kept going, going, going. So I finished this one last night, and I was very, very thankful. But I think that's very, very cute. It's two over two on the 20, uh, 32 count Nordic blue, and... um. I really enjoyed this, and I used all DMC floss. I used all the call four colors. Yes, I did. So, and it was 43 uh, by 53, the design was. So, that's going to go in the stack. In fact, we'll be tossing this over here as we speak. So, it will go over there at the sewing machine because it has places to go. All right, so that was my only one and only finish this week. But I'm hoping I'll have some more finishes for next week. Okay, I have, I participate in several groups. Now, there's two groups I'm not going to show today because I did not work on those pieces. I just didn't feel, excuse me, I just did not feel like stitching on those pieces. And one of them is my stitching book club and for Sense and Sensibility from, you know, by Jane Austen that was designed by Kristen from uh, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. She has an Etsy shop. And she designed a beautiful design, but hopefully we'll see that one next week or the week after. I'm just giving it a rest. And I'm also using that for the hashtag pocket full of posy sal with bumble stitches and some other stitchers. Um, another one I did not stitch on was... Um, my monthly orny sale for April. No, that was not April. May, excuse me. I've not even started that one yet. In fact, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I haven't really decided, so we'll, we'll have to think about that. So anyway, you will not be seeing either one of those today. But I did work on my Whipgo stitches. Okay, uh, Whipgo, what is that? 
whip go is like a bingo card, which I made. Mine's very primitive because it's like one more thing to do on the computer, you know. But anyway, all the yellow squares are uh, items that I have met my goal. What you do is you number 1 through 25. 13 is a free space. And you can put one project on here more than once. But I have a few whips. Whips, not whips. I have a few whips, and so I, which are works in progress. So I thought, mm, I'll just stick a different one on every one. I might get tired of doing it. And I am so glad I did. Uh, there was a couple I changed because I'm like, I am not doing any more snow. I'm tired of white again. Um, but anyway, this month she called number 19. That's Rather Be Stitching. And this is by Stony Creek. I got this at a Pandas Crossing Retreat. Um, it's like an insert for an apron. I got the apron also, except my apron's a royal blue. Okay, I didn't get a lot done on this one this week, but I did get some done. Before, this one says, I'd rather, it says, stuck in the kitchen, much rather be stitching. Now, it's on 28 count white uh, cashel linen, and I did get the, um, what color is that? Uh, ba -ba -ba. The red grape medium, which is 718. I did get that floss done right here. Skein of floss. I've started on the end of it. And see, I finished up the skein of orange spice, light orange spice, 722. I got the skein of that done. This DMC, just fancy names for it. Um, so hopefully I'll get this one done this week. Now, I'm not promising I'll have it FFO because, you know, I try to put that off as long as I can. But I use two threads over two. And the stitch count is 120 by 37. So, hopefully I'll get some more stitching done on that this week. This one's going to be one of my priority things to do this week. Or focus piece, as some people call it. Oh, excuse me. My little clips are a little stiff. All right, and that uses all DMC floss except for a um, DMC light effects, and it's got some blending thread also, but I'll show you that when we get there. Okay, and hopefully I'll be showing everything on that next week because I really, really want to get that one done because it's so cute. All right, next, my other Whip Go piece it was supposed to be a snowman, and I thought, oh, I cannot do another snowman. I just cannot. So, I changed it to uh, Stitching with the Housewives pattern that I won from them on their uh, video, Floss Tube video. And this one's called uh, Trick or Treat. I just fell in love with it, and I ran to Hobby Lobby and purchased the pumpkin. Forgot to get the candy corn, but mm, this fall, I'll manage some. Or something or I'll do something because I can always do my own thing but I love the way it looked on the pumpkin the white pumpkin so I've got it and I already know where I'm gonna put it this one is done on 28 count black even weave which I bought from fat quarter shop um the stitch count is 111 by 139 and I'm using all the classic color works I think yes I am I am because Southern Stitcher was supposed to send me the floss, which is what I originally won. But she sent me the pattern in addition because she lost my name or something, which I thought was very, very nice. So everybody needs to go over and check out Southern Stitcher. She has a web page. And she has some great sales. I love getting the sales. And um, a lot of times she puts her floss and stuff on sale too. Her fancy floss. So that's always good too. But this is what I got done on Trick or Treat. Not a lot. I did some more on the candy corn. My goal for uh, Whip Go is to do 400 stitches. I'm about a fifth of the way there. Mm, yeah. If I would quit falling asleep in the chair at night while I'm sewing, you know, it would be just great. But you know how that goes. But this is two threads over two on the 28 count uh, black even weave from Fat Quarter Shop. <clears throat> and I loved how they surged it on the side. You know, see, I cut this, so it was like, no, I'm not going to be doing that. But um, just really, really 
their charts are easy to read. Um, they even show you uh, where you can find the, they write on the back of the pattern where you can find the wooden pumpkin at Hobby Lobby. And um, they show you about the, the um, finishing boards and the fabric and everything. So, and there's a little bit of back stitching in this one, just a little bit. So this one's going to be stitched on also this week. So that'll be good. <clears throat> and hopefully I can mark out two more blocks. But it still won't give me a bingo. But I'll be getting closer. All right. Next, I have my whips. What did I stitch on? Okay. I know people that it's not February. But, you know... I'm one of those, it's like, I'm to the point now, sometimes when I stitch things, it's like I'm not throwing that down. I'm just going to finish it. So, I'm in the Country Cottage Needlework, or I'm not in, but I belong on the Facebook group to Country Cottage Needlework Sal with Annabelle's and Pandas Crossing. Pandas Crossing also has one under Pandas Crossing Groupies, but Annabelle's has one, and it's on Facebook. And this is the February pattern that I'm still working on because I'm just working on so much that I have to do a little bit at a time. But when I finish this one, I'm going to do May. That is if I finish it. But my goal is to finish this this week because I'm tired of looking at February. So anyway, this was done on a piece of linen I found in my stash. It's 28 count. I do know that. I could not tell you what color it is to save my life. I have no idea. But it's an old piece of linen, and I sure didn't do a good job of ironing it, did I? Or even did I bother? Anyway, I got just a little bit more stitching done. I got the windows done in the house, the fence done, and I finished up the pink on the house. So, and I think I got the door done also. Yes, I did that. And... So I got a little bit more. So I don't have much farther to go. I have three more desserts, a couple of uh, four hearts to do, and some flowers at the bottom. And thank goodness I will be finished with this one. It's beautiful. I love it. 28 count, two, two threads over two. And I used all the call four colors, which are very colorful, I might add. Um... And they're all classic color works. So I've got those. And I'm really enjoying doing this one. This was a oh goodness. This is a very easy stitch uh, for me. It's very calming and relaxing. I enjoy oh drat. I enjoy stitching on it. And most of the time I will work on this at work. Not my piano teaching, but my other job. When there's nobody around and I've got everything done. Um, so that's why it's been going kind of slow. So, but I think this week I'm going to do some night stitching on it because it needs to be finished and I need to be stitching on May because I went and saw one of my friends and she was working on May and she had finished April and I was like, oh, I need to get with the program. So anyway, <clears throat> there we have it. Okay, the next thing I'm stitching on, which of course is not Easter anymore, but it's still garden time, so I'm still up to date on that, is the Stitching with the Housewives Carrot Seeds Pattern. Okay, this was my favorite. I thought it was just so, so cute. And I got a little bit more done, but before I got a little bit more done, I, while I was stitching, I stitched two more rows of the green. I'm still up there on the green and notice that I had stitched green over some of the places that weren't supposed to be green so I had to rip all that out and I had to do it over again so it looks like I haven't done hardly anything but trust me I have done a good bit because it was rip it rip it rip it which is why they call it the frog stitch this is two over two and it's on a piece of 28 count and it's not even weave. It's it's a black piece of fabric that I had in my stash that I bought at a yard sale. 
believe it or not. So I'm enjoying this. This one's all classic color works, except I did not have any four leaf clover. Imagine that. So I changed it to, I did this last week. Um, I changed it to 700 and mm, 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 two. I changed it to 702. And I also didn't have any clay pot, but I just found some at the store. But I may still do the pink I was talking about for his cheeks and it, help him have little ro or help her. I don't know if it's a he or she, but help it have rosier cheeks. <clears throat> so we shall see about that. Because that's basically that and the ears are the only places you're going to see the clay pot. Um... So, I've got the DMC, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, that will be finished sometime, but not this week. All right, but that was fun. That's a fun stitch. I'm really enjoying stitching that one. Um, and I'm not having as much trouble seeing the black, but the reason I'm having trouble seeing the black is because, notice it's kind of translucent, but, um, well, you can see through it. It's not translucent. But it's a really tight weave. It really is. So it's got to be a 32 count. Because it's small. So. Okay. <clears throat> so next. I had a May 1st start. And this was supposed to be my birth. Well, it was. It ended up being like my birthday start late. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be late for everything. Um. And I'm not usually late when I go places. That's just not one of my things. But stitching, I guess I'm just late. But anyway, uh, I started this and I got the heart done to start with. I saw this in the Just Cross Stitch magazine in February of this year, 2021. And it's my Quaker Christmas sampler and it's got six parts. Okay, so when I saw this, I said, mm, I've been wanting to do a Quaker stitch because I've been watching Floss Tube and everybody's doing the Quaker this and the Quaker that. So I'm just going to try this because here's the pattern. I, You know, I've got cloth and I've got thread and yeah, I can do this. Well, I don't know if I'm going to like this Quaker thing or not because it took me a long time to just get just this little bit longer than what I thought because you had to thread and rethread and skip around and I was like oh dear so I've sat down with it twice so you see how much I've got done so we hope I continue this this is on 28 count star sapphire witchell um no it's Weigart linen by witchell I think I did that right and it's you it uses dmc flosses um and it does, I did notice later when I was sitting down to work on it, which is one, another reason it's not done, that I haven't done anymore, is it also uses Weak Style Works and Classic Color Works, which I did not pull. So I went to go pull them, and guess what? I did not have them. So I'm having to use the alternative DMC for the Grasshopper Classic Color Works and 762 for the Shabby Sheep. And there were a couple of the Weak Style Works colors I did not have. And I didn't have the TMC either. Can you believe it? So, yet again, I had to make another trip to the store. Hmm, yes. So, and pick up my flosses for this. So, hopefully, you'll see some more done on this this weekend. Or this week. Because I really like it. And I think once I get a little bit more done and, and you know... Um, get a little bit more anchored and stuff since I've never worked on a Quaker sampler before that I'll kind of get in the groove and or in the stitching zone or whatever you call it. But um, it's going to be interesting. And let's see, let me give you some information. Um, it's 160 by 160. And if you do it on a piece of uh, 28 count, they had theirs on antique copper jubilin. But um, I just picked Star Sapphire just because it looked kind of, um, you know, a little bit green. So I thought, mm, green's a Christmas color. This will be good. So we'll see how this goes. This may be good. It may be not. But if not, that's okay. This is a learning experience. Um, it's always good to try something new. 
But anyway, it's two over two, and this is by FaithWorks Design, and her name is Nancy Waller. I think I said that right. And it's an intermediate skill level. Hmm. I don't know why, but maybe there's some specialty. Oh, there is Lazy Daisy, which, yeah, if you can embroider, you can do that. But, um, back stitch and cross stitch. So, that shouldn't be a problem. So, not that I'm an expert by far. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and last but not least, um, yeah, this one. No, this is not the last one. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Next to last. Um, I did spirit. I'm working on spirits and spells. I plucked that one out after I rip, rip, ripped uh, a while back because I had all, I'm doing stitches and spells. I had all of her skirt done or dress done. I had to rip it out. And it's on 40 count. Oh, yay. I just love ripping out on 40 count. It's just such fun. Not. So anyway, um, <laughs> it's on Week Style Works Linen. No, it's not on Week. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, it is on Week Style. No, no. Well, I don't know what linen it's on. All I know is it's on 40 count because I told her I wanted 40 count. And I can't remember where I got this linen. Um... It says it's supposed to be Confederate gray, but I just don't think this is Confederate gray because it sure doesn't look like it. But anyway, this is my little witchy girl, and uh, I've already got the little box to put it on. It uses Week Style Works flosses uh, and Gentle Arts embroidery floss, and I used one strand over two. I had to look. Um... So, I'm looking forward to getting this one finished and having it out by Halloween. But she's just too fun to stitch. Once you get her skirt on her right, it was not a pretty sight. So, I did get a little bit more on the skirt done. But I still got a ways to go. But, um, anyway, stitching on 40 count is not as bad as people think. Um, now, I don't know how I do on black but are a real dark color, you know, like a navy color or something. But on this, it's it's not too bad. But um, uh, I cannot believe I had to rip all that out. But um, it was it was interesting. I just really trashed the thread because it was <laughs> it was pretty bad when I ripped it out. You know, sometimes you can you know reuse your thread, but not in that case. It was not good. Okay, and the last whip I stitched on. See, I didn't stitch a lot on one piece. Uh, on every piece, I stitched a little on this, a little on that. So, But I also have been participating in, last weekend was the first weekend of May, and Brenda and the Serial Stitcher and a few other, well, a lot of other cross-stitchers have been participating in the Blackbird Weekend Sale. So I took... I had this book, Sweet Land of Liberty, and I've had it for quite some time because everything I saw, I was just like, oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, I chose American Eagle, and I saw somebody had actually finished it, and I was like, oh wow, just recently, there's about three or four people stitching on this right now in the Blackbird Weekend style that I have seen posted on Instagram. And it's hashtag BBD Weekend Sal. And I didn't get a lot done since I showed it to you last time because I only worked on it on the weekend. And I had trouble getting my video uploaded. Well, I just had trouble getting my video last weekend. And uh, anyway, I didn't get it uploaded till pretty late and I was stitching on this because it was the weekend. So you saw a lot of the stitching I got done. Now this is on 32 count Confederate Gray by Week Style Works. And that's my stitching. I just got more stitching done on the on the house. You know, I had the roof done with the two chimneys. And I know I've still not filled in the two bricks that I left out right there. So um I'll get there, hopefully. Um, but anyway, they said to use, it's called to use one strand of floss over two threads. Mm, didn't like it. 
So I use, I'm using two strands of floss over two threads. And the design size is 93 by 114. And it uses all general arch threads except for one. And that's uh, a Wig Style Works and it's Pelican Gray. And I think that's this top piece here, the roof. Well, it's not a piece, it's the roof. So, first week into June, I'm going to get this thing out again and stitch on it some more. So, I'm enjoying stitching on that. And I'm so excited to uh, be stitching on a uh, Blackbird Designs. I do like Blackbird Designs. I've stitched a few before, but not many. Um, and they're, they're fun to stitch. So, that's all the whips I stitched on this week. Wow, that was really something, wasn't it? 40 minutes worth of whips. Holy cow. So, what am I going to do next week? Well, I'm going to, let's see, turn the page. I'm going to finish, hopefully, rather be stitching, and February sampler by Country Cottage Needleworks. And, of course, rather be stitching is by uh, Stony Creek because I'd like to get my apron done. It's cute. Now, I don't know if I will keep it or if I will give it to one of my daughters because I have one daughter that she likes, she really likes to cook. So, um, and I like to eat what she cooks. I like to eat what both of my daughters cook. They're good. But anyway, uh, I ordered this pattern a good while back when it first came out and I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to have this. It's a PDF, or at least that's the way I got it. I don't know if it comes any other way. But when Nicola Parkman from Hands Across the Sea showed it in, oops, in the garden, many flowers bloom and it's a drum and it's got like stitched uh, rosebuds at the top of it. And I just thought that was just beautiful. So I showed you a piece of fabric I was going to use last time. And then I got to looking at the directions. So I was like, oh, I forgot about this piece and this piece. Oh, my goodness. So I had to change the color of the um, fat and the kind of fabric I was using. I've got 36 count cream Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Oh, goodness. And it's a fat quarter. So, I think I'll have enough uh, fabric now. So, I'm going to start that this week. And I will probably start on the drum. Because if I had done the other piece, you know, I had the little piece out. And I thought, oh, this will just be perfect. Well, I was just looking at one piece of the design. I wasn't looking at the drum or the rosebuds or anything. And I opted, instead of using... Uh, Swa Dalche or Swa 100.3, I decided just to use DMC since it was my first Hands Across the Sea stitch. So I'm really excited about this. Um, the drum is going to be 11, a little over 11 and a half by almost five and a half. And then the rosebuds, you have to make two rosebuds to make one 3D rosebud. And each rosebud is going to be almost an inch by an inch and a half. That's just the design size. And then the design area of the top of the drum is almost, it's like two and three quarters maybe, or five eighths by two and five eighths, something thereabouts. So, um, this is going to be like so much fun to stitch. And her patterns, they come in color and they come in black and white. And there's big pattern pieces and then there's like, you know, it's all on one or mostly one. So, I'm excited. This is going to be a start this week. So, I already got it in my bag and it's, it's ready to go. So, yay, I'm excited. So that's going to be fun. <clears throat> then, okay, it's mania. So, you know, I'm a ma stitch maniac, so I can do anything I want to, you know, because I just can. So, I wasn't going to do but one start a week, but oh, goodness, I saw this, and I was like, oh, somebody finished this, and it's so cute, and I've had this for a good while. In fact, I think I bought it at Expo last year, and... This is by Summer House Stitch Works, and it's called Liberty Hill Farm. 
I'm going to drum kick people. And look at those drums. Oh, my goodness. And they've got great finishing directions on the back. Uh, Beth does give wonderful um, directions on how to finish. The chart is easy to read. And she gave you a choice of using Sulky or DMC. And guess what? I'm using... I bought the uh, Sulky 12-weight Cotton Petite Thread Pack. Um, I'm just really excited about this and look at all the pretty colors and I'll be using one strand because one strand equals two strands of DMC and I'm using 28 count dapple um, to stitch this on that's one's for the drum I would assume this is for the large drum yep and this is for the small drum. See, Pandas labels everything so you don't get home and you go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So, <clears throat> you know, what's this fabric for? So I'm excited about this. I can't wait to start that. And I haven't decided if I'm going to, I'll probably do the large drum first. Probably. Not really sure. But anyway, I'm excited about that. And you know, it's Stitch Mania, so we can do whatever we want. So that's about all I'm probably going to do. I probably will not work on my monthly Orny sound next week, which I will probably regret because then I'll be like, oh my goodness, I don't have it started. I don't even have it ready and it's almost time, but I'll get over it. Okay, now let's talk about haul. Man, I'll tell you, when you have a birthday, you get some haul. It's really good. So I'm going to show you. I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot to put that there. Okay. So anyway, that's the first time I've been over this video. Yay! Not dropped anything either. All right. I have a dear, sweet friend, and I know some of you have probably heard her name um, called in several of the videos. Uh, she is Stitching Granny of 17. I cannot imagine having 17 grandchildren, but she does. And she sews a lot. She is like a wizard seamstress to me. And she also cross stitches and appliques and embroiders and does all the things. She made me a project bag for my birthday. And this is it. Is that not just the cutest thing? It's on fine. It's got vinyl. But on the inside, she embroidered a an applique a bird. And then embroidered some floss on there and um applique the flowers on. And I think she said the embroidery hoop was um, machine applique on there. But I thought it was so, I think it's just adorable. And I love the fabric. And look at the, oh wait, look here. Scissors, look at that. And it's also got some buttons on here and a little ruler. And she said she was saving that for somebody special. That made me feel so special. And she put a little happy birthday thing. And she loves chickens and roosters. And there's what she put. So, happy birthday. And it's from, created just for you from Deborah. Date 4-29-2021. I will always cherish this. And I'm going to take very good care of it. But she gave it to me the other day. I was so excited. And she quilted it herself. She's a wonderful quilter. And it's all poofy. And it's it's reinforced. I'm sure she put like interfacing in here. And it's, it's just wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Just so excited. Can't wait to fill that up. Because I really do not have but one real project bag that I bought myself. Yes. But anyway. Now, moving right along, she also, uh, she's noticed how many cow patterns I've been showing. And look at the Twin Peaks pattern, Daisy. This was one of the Moo the Merrier patterns. And I just thought that was so cute. And she said, well, you better do this. So here's this pattern. So I'm excited to get to start that. That will not be immediate, but it will be soon. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Then I have another, another sweet friend. Now, Deborah and I were in uh, EGA together, the Embroiders Guild of America. And my other friend, Dolores, <clears throat> um, you've heard her talk about me talk about her. 
um, we were also in EGA together and we've all been friends for the longest time. And she made, she got me two needle minders. I think she made those. And one says Paris and the other one's like a wooden button. And I just thought that was just so, so precious. And I really, really appreciate it. So I can't wait to start using those. I was holding them to the side and I had them in a safe place. And I thought, oh no, I've lost them. That's why I did not show these last week because I could not figure out where the safe place was that I put them. And I just thank you, Dolores. I really, really appreciate it so much. So, so much. <clears throat> now, um, let's keep going. Okay. All right. I also, yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, I also, you know, I've been working on Holy Night with my Whip Go um, project, and I got the stitching part finished. Well, guess what? The button pack came from just another button company. It came, and it's got the wise man, a star, some sheep, stars, some sheep, and one of the three kings in the green. So I'm going to be busy sewing those on so I can take that to the framers sometime. Not immediately, but sometime. Then, um, I got a piece of Lugana 32 count silvery moon. I got a fat quarter. I thought this was really, really pretty. Because my buttons could not travel alone. They could not. And also, you know, every month they have a free pattern. And usually I try to order the pattern, the free pattern early if I like it. And this time I had forgotten. So I didn't get it till the month was over and I forgot to tell y'all about it. And the free pattern for last month in April was Believe. <clears throat> and this was the fourth of the uh, Ocean type seashore patterns and I thought that was pretty and see you can make the wait a minute is there anything here no um you could make it into a bell pull see we start out with the starfish and then went with the dolphins and then the anchor and the hmm, I think it's like seashells and then the believe with the turtles so anyway yeah so I got this one, and uh, I don't know when I'm going to stitch this, but I do know when I do stitch it, who I'm going to stitch it for. And then the other free pattern last month was Hope, and it was the little sheep Christmas ornament. Now, I could stitch this one, and this could be my monthly orny sale, because, you know, once again, do I know what I'm stitching? No, I do not. <clears throat> okay, so then, you know, it was my birthday. And I showed this last time. Never mind. Never mind. I'm starting. I'm getting ready to duplicate. Oops. Because I had it in the same pile. Um, and I also got a piece of cobalt linen from Fiber on a Whim. And I got this from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, they have started carrying fiber on a whim. And the cobalt I got just because stitching with the housewives, the housewives, they do a lot of stitching in the black blue. And I was not big on dying, you know, fabric for a while until I did it for Stitching Book Club. But when I saw this, I said, hmm, I gotta have that. So I went ahead and ordered that because I need fabric to do all these projects, you know. Then, <clears throat> um, I was watching Floss Tube, and yet again, this is another new pattern. This is called Blue House Neighborhood from Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I saw this on somebody's Floss Tube. I want to say it was Java Girl Stitches. And she had finished it, and I thought, oh, it is adorable. So I really, really, really like this. Or maybe I, no, no, I didn't see it on Job Girl. I saw it on Cherry Hill Stitches Floss Tube. Excuse me. She was showing her new releases. And um, I just thought that was just so, so pretty. So that's going to be 
a stitch. It will probably be in July, but who knows? It may be this month. You never can tell. And then also by Cherry Hill Stitchery, <clears throat> she showed Sweet Land of Liberty. And you know me, had to have it. So I got this and I'll definitely be stitching this one also. And it says Sweet Land of Liberty. And this is on doubloon. And I believe she did it on 32 count. And she uses Weeks Dye Works threads on this one and Classic Color Works threads on the blue houses. But those were so, so pretty. I was just like, oh, I love them. So um, <clears throat> there's that. And last but not least, oh no, not last, next to last. Um, Manny Dodonna has a sound a sounds of free has a oh good grief sounds of freedom pillows land of liberty let freedom ring and stars and stripes and I can't remember if I showed this last week I think I did but I'm so excited about my birthday I forgot to write it down so anyway those are going to be some good ones and those are um on 32 count cocoa linen by Week Style Works, and they're two over two with Week Style Works glosses. So that's another one. I'm like, oh, gotta stitch this. And then I was walking through Michael's and I saw this, or was it Michael's? No, I think it was Hobby Lobby. Not really sure, Michael's Hobby Lobby, but anyway, I think it was Michael's and I saw this and I thought it was really, really cute. Fourth of July ribbon. So I got that. So there you go. It was Michael's. Yes. Okay. And I believe that's it. Um, I really appreciate y'all joining in with me. And this is like the longest video I've ever done. These videos just keep getting longer and longer. But I really appreciate you stopping in. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And not just so I can get bigger numbers, but just so... I'm not really so interested in that as I am just sharing my stitching with others. And uh, I just really appreciate you joining in and uh, all the kind comments you gave. And the one thing I want to show you that I forgot to show, I've got to do this, and I meant to look it up right away because I thought I would come across my thing that I wanted to do. <sighs> Drat, drat, drat. I do not know what I did with it. So we're just going to look for it. Just bear with me just a moment. Hold that thought. 